everybody. This is long overdue and I apologize. This is the system overview for summer or August 2015. Um, with everything kind of set up except uh, the bulk of the zip grow towers I'll be hanging. But here goes. Here are the two water tanks. They are 650 gallons each. They have the conical bottoms. Uh, really like them. No fishing yet. I still got the fish over there, and I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, they're going to go some in. I just have to sex them, and I'll explain that in a minute. As it comes down, it goes into there and goes into the sump over there. And as you can see, I have... I'm testing a few different nets, and this is a nylon net and a PVC ring. The nylon is the best. Anything else, they weight down and they just soak in. They just fall in after about a day. Nylon, this has been here for three weeks. It had nothing's, nothing's wrong. It looks like a dip there, but it's just wet. If you go down here, you can kind of see it's not really curved down in there. It's just wet. But that's there. And this is here. I ordered another one here since I was testing. I didn't want to buy two. If you look over here, you can see the water is swirling. It goes around like this. If you go right here, you can see that. Uh, and this one goes this way. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of harder to see with the net here, but it's server circling around there. Water comes back and simple tiny pre-filter. What I did was, let me come here so you can see it. That whole bottom has a bunch of half inch holes in it. And there's just two layers of this filter material. Very easy to get most of the fish waste out of there. So, and this pipe here is I just turn a valve on to fill up water. And this is a return from uh, the other fish tanks I'll show you. This drain here streams like that constantly. It's coming from this floating bed here. I just took all them seedlings out that I had in here. And I was going to use this for a lot of plants, but this is pretty much going to be how I'm going to start seeds. I really like it. If you look at my other video, I mean, all I have to do is throw 8, 10 basil seeds in here. And in two, four weeks, I got 8, 10 basil plants, pull out, put in my zip grow towers. This works unbelievably good for that, starting seeds. Really, 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 really good. So, but that water goes in over there. And underneath here, the pipes, the height, just goes down naturally. So in these, you can kind of, you get the idea, floating bed. So, yep. And that water comes out of there, and this bed here that has the bell siphon in it, so you know, it raises, fills, raises, and fills, also comes out of here too. So every now and then, there's really high pressure coming out of there so okay so the water pump right there it's a pentar uh, domino really like it it's quiet and this is a one horse one sorry right there it's a one horse one and it's two hundred dollars cheaper than the other ones I was used the other one I was using so it's really good pump and the water comes up come over here so you can see it it's an inch and a half comes to the valve goes down to one inch goes up tees off that way come over here you can see right there comes down this one comes down here and separates for all these blue buckets here not that one all these blue buckets and it's just a little dutch bucket system water comes out of there And in here, turn the water on, it's almost off. You can see the water coming out. This is just another filter, pre-filter I have here. Really not doing much, but it does help a little bit because uh, every little bit helps since I got the space. And here is the vertical wall. Now, mint here does not do very good during the summer, so it's too hot, but it still lives. You can see these two are spearmint. These two are peppermint, and these two are chocolate mint. So during when it starts to get cool this fall, these will just take over by everything and all have mint. So 
and lemongrass right here. Lemongrass is really good in these towers. When I make a smoothie, I just come get one of these and throw it in. It's really nice. Basil, I've told about that before. Basil's, I've never seen something grow better than the Zip Grow Tower, basil and Zip Grow's Tower, hands down. And just planted these, just got them. Got uh, seven towers here of strawberries. So, yep, so, uh, oh, I won't get them during the summer. These are ever bearing, so probably starting this fall, winter, I'll start getting some strawberries, so. And I got three towers left here, nothing in them that I'll get something in. Raised beds, I got some tomatoes, different type of tomatoes, and this bed's gonna go in this raised bed here. So, uh, this water here comes from the pump. So I'm actually watering this with fish water on these spray. So if I turn this on, it's coming from the sump tank, the pressure tank. So I can water this with uh, fish water, so I never have to fertilize it. That's a bay bush. Same thing with this one here. Uh, put some pepper plants in here, and that's an avocado tree right there. That whole open area here is where I'll have zip grow towers. So I just got to get some more money and order some more. I have about, oh, 30, 40 more. But then I need to order about 150, 200 more for over there. So come back to here. This water tees off this way. Comes down into the fish tanks. And I have it teeing off right here for this way for all the towers that will be down here. So tees off this way. You can see it coming to here. I haven't built it yet, but I'll see it. I'm going to put it in here where it can, in a tube, it'll be complicated. Basically, I'm going to divert most of the water at nighttime during the winter to heat up and back to the fish tank. So it's not done, so it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you that there. So, oops, let me I move this again. Sorry about that. It's one thing I hate about this camera, right by my fingers to zoom. So the tilapia... Here's some of them right there. These are definitely harvestable size. Uh, just fed them. You can see the food on top. A little nervous with the camera. If I'm standing without a camera, they'll come up to me. I'll sex these and put them in the, one of the tanks. But two females and one male I'll keep in here for offspring. And the babies will go in here. And here's some tilapia I just found in my system from the others. Right now there's so many in that smaller tank that as soon as they're born they get eaten. But these are ones I've just found through my system and everything like that. So I've just threw them in this tank. So this tank will be for the young ones and it'll have the swirl filter for these too. So I have right now a pump down in there, a small pump. I don't want a separate pump in case something goes out. So what happens is the water gets pumped into these, drains out, and that white PVC here that's down in there too keeps this at a constant level. All the water from the towers goes here so this gets this part of the whole big system too. This pipe here I'm gonna have come down and tie into this line here so in case that pump goes out I can use the main pump to water these here too. So, but I want to keep that sump down there full for emergencies. And if I just use the main water pump and there'll be solids at the bottom of that one there, it'll get real funky over time. So that's why I got a smaller pump there. Plus it adds a second smaller pump to help out. So, and this over here, I, the Dutch buckets and everything like that. And I just, anytime I got small plants, it's really easy to water from that pipe coming down there. So I use that. So. That's basically it. That's a system overview right now. Um, I'm gonna be putting stuff in here real quick. Uh, the floating bed during the winter time, I will probably, uh, in the middle, where I'm not using the middle three or four rows, I'll probably grow some cabbages and lettuces during the winter time there. So that's basically it. Uh, like I said, these are gonna be for the adult fish. That's going to be the breeding tank. That's going to be for the fry. The fry will graduate from here to in there. So that's basically it. 
hope everybody has a great day. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking. Uh, thanks to everybody who subscribed to this here. Any questions, please leave them below. Uh, if you want me to go in more detail on anything in my system, just please let me know. Like if you want to know more about the plumbing, how I diverted the water and everything, just let me know and I can show you because down there it kind of looks like a little rat's nest, but it's actually pretty simple. So that's it. Everybody have a great day.